uh, <clears throat> today we will demonstrate a simple uh, knot for joining braid, uh, you know, braid to monofilament or any sort of you know leader material, you know, no matter it's a floor carbon or mono. Uh, the knot is called page ranking knot. A lot of people also call it PR knot. It's been commonly used in uh, vertical jigging, you know, deep jigging. It's a very, the most string, you know, string line, very smooth connection, you know, between, and uh, between, you know, braid and the mono. Uh, and the breaking strength is also, you know, being proven by, you know, all sorts of anglers around the world, you know, for, you know, offshore fishing especially in jigging. It's a very smooth transaction, uh, very strong breaking strength, and uh, so let's get it started. Uh, what you need is this will be the braid from your reel, uh, from any sort of reel, whatever the reel, conventional reel, spinning reel that you spooled with, you know, braided, uh, braided line, you know, and this will be your leader, uh, any sort of leader. So at the beginning, you need, uh, of course, your braid, your leading material, and uh, you know a decent plier that can cut, you know, braid nicely. A lighter to burn the tag end, and the bobbing. You know, you can. There's so many type of bobbing out there. Uh, any type of bobbing that's to help you to, you know, loop the braid. You know, to bite into the mono to in order to complete the knot. Uh, so let's get started. First, we will take your braid, braided line, uh, inserts into, inserts, inserts into your bobbin. Let's get this in there. into your bobbing and uh, you know every different type of bobbing the connection weighs different this is kind of a DIY bobbing we did you know uh, any type of tape knot to secure make sure the braided line is very smooth you know securely you know attached to the bobbing and simply wrap it you know a couple times you know, just long enough in order to complete that length of, you know, four to five inch, you know, PR nut, the body of the PR nut. So, you know, this What's will be plenty. What's the minimum number of wraps? Uh, yeah, about the four to five inch, usually, you know, measured by the length. And then, you know, this is help the attention, you know, when your line, you know, spinning out of the bobbing, this usually, you know, different bobbing is different, so, you know, practice making this knot helps a lot so usually for me I like to use about five times like you know, this tension right here this loop helps the tension you know, help the you know the line gonna comes out the bobbing so this helps the tension to control the you know to control the line flows so here we're getting started. This is the first step, you know, insert the braid into the bobbing. Tensions, help the tensions to make sure, you know, the line comes out not too tight, not too loose, you know, just very easily, you know, you can be easily come out the, you know, the bobbing, you know, easily in a, you know, decent pool. Alrighty, so next is we got grab the leader material. This will be, you know, this is for the demo purpose. But this will be, you know, any type of leader material, you know. Is there a minimum amount of poundage no. this mm -hmm. knot is good for? You know, any poundage you prefer to match up with, you know, whatever the fishing purpose you need to do, you know, you can go to any range from 80 pounds uh, to, you know, 250 pounds, you know, mono, you know. A lot of people prefer, you know, we also prefer, you know, a softer mono because it's easier for the braid to get spice into the mono. 
so that you get the perfect you know binding in the loop so this way you know you have a secure body length on the on the on the on the leader on the PR so for starting first of all you place the braid and the mono together in a parallel position and use your hand to fold it in a certain way make sure it's secure then you will be doing using the bobbin weight to simply wrapping onto the mono making a loop of you know enough length of taking about you know I would say 15 to 20 turns just to let the bobbin do the work you know it's all that way right there pull the mono hard so make it vertical and have the you know bobbin wrap on so simply you will make about 15 to 20 loops use your hand to pitch back this direction uh, the trick of making the PR knot is always make sure the bobbin is in the middle point of wherever your two hands at the you know the location at so the bobbin is in the middle this way the bobbin can get you know equivalent spinning positions you know out of the two hand direction so after you make that turns from here to here about 15 to 20 turns you will start making about six to eight turns of spinning let the bobbin just <coughs> close the end for those reps so what you do is you turn you know let the bobbin spin about six to eight turns and then you will have a very close up on the reps you did up there so basically this will be the this will be your rep between from here to here that's a rep the close end for whatever the reps you did over here so they go down the opposite direction that they came up yeah so it's pretty much you wrap it vertically and you followed it up but this needs to be in a tight rep use the bobbing weight you know to make the reps for this much length but it needs to be tighter this is a loop this is just one direction loop your bobbing gonna reverse come back and the re-loop based on this loop so here is a tricky part making the reverse you know give a little bit line pinch right here and oh wait so you went forward you went this direction which direction from uh, the, your those first six loops which direction did they go with the bobbin with the bobbins from from whatever the end you finish and the oh. wrap all the way to oh, here. Okay, so you go forward. Yeah, you go forward. It. Okay. Right now you're gonna go backwards this direction. Okay, okay, okay. But the point is reverse the direction of here from forward to backward is a tricky part. Okay, so now pitch your backwards. hands over here, take your bobbing, reverse one okay. on the top of whatever you did over here, on top of it. You know, so make sure it's go over it on the top of your the forward direction you made but make sure you put enough your hand attention you know to reverse it on the top of what you did over here okay. at the same time you still pinch here because you don't want the bobbin spinning forward this direction still the forward direction right now you want the bobbin to go backward direction to finish the knot so what happens is you pitch in a limit amount and then make sure the rep is very tightly backwards wrapping on whatever you did forward so this is so right now you see basically you have a forward a reverse I show that one more time and direct it which way is the forward Forward was underneath it. Okay, so it was right now, way. yeah, right now from you had the forward from that, that, that way to that way, and then, and then you have a reverse point here, so and okay. and you did the backwards. Okay. So right now the backwards rep was tightly wrapped under the forward point underneath. The forward is underneath. Mm -hmm. Right now your bobbing is going this direction right now. Okay. So you, so, 
This way, the bobbin is already in the engaged motion. Right now, it's you know willing to travel in this direction, uh, the backward direction towards where you know we start the knot. So right now, still the same thing. You know, for people who start trying to learn this knot, always keep the bobbin in the middle and have your two finger in a, you know the bobbin always in the equivalence of your two fingers, and get the bobbin started. Just use the weight of the bobbin and then start wrapping let the bobbin do the flow backwards and you will you will feel the bobbin catch into its original originally loop from whatever you did before the bobbin will feel grabbing into it and just let the weight do the work and you will have a tightly wrapped by using the gravities and the weight of the bobbin. You will have a tightly looped, you know, forward loop, close, reverse, reverse back, and the the other wrap was basically just how long covers. Does, how long does it have to be? Sorry, everybody has different. Uh, I prefer about four to five inch. Usually, it's wherever my index finger lands. You know, some people will do a little bit longer, but I won't. I wouldn't recommend anything longer than, uh, you know, six inch, seven inch. Keep it anywhere in between four to five inch. Your index finger, so you know, about four to five inch. That well, would be perfect. Why not? If it's too long, it's... Uh... It's basically, it's a very strong nut. As long as you did it every direction is correctly, you don't need a very long nut to make sure the breaking strength. The nut itself is very strong. It's, that's why at the beginning of this instruction video, mm. it was purposely says this nut was a very streamlined and a very strong connection nut. If the, if the wrap was tightly wrapped, it doesn't need to be long. Anywhere from four to five inch is a perfect, you know, a perfect lens, ideal lens, you know. Anywhere your index finger. Yeah, it's about, you know, perfect lens. Uh, so here, you have your, so usually what happens on wrapped, whatever is, you know, you done, you did before, we did before here. Unwrap it. So the, here still your braid goes to your reel. Here is still your leader line. That's you did, you know, we made it to connect, you know, here, here's still your braid. That goes onto your reel. Here is still, you know, your leader. The point is make sure you pitch right here, no matter what you do, make sure you pitch right here so the knot don't come untangle or loose, just make sure. Uh, so what you're gonna do for the rest of the part, which comes to the second part of the knot, is first of all, you untangle all the line from your bobbin. You know, you untangle the line of your bobbin, take a plier, just cut it. How much is that? Uh, just enough lens to make, you know, enough lens to make, you know, about, I would say 10, 12 inch, enough lens to make, you know, to finish the knot, to finish the knot. Your body of the PR knot is right here. Okay. This is your body of the PR knot. The tag, tag end of the PR knot is already finished. So right now we're gonna close the knot, you know, from this section go on, you know, to close this, you know, three separate line, you know, your main line, your leader, and your, you know, leftover braid from whatever the knot we need to continue going on. So right now what we will do is call half hitch. First of all, after you finish the body of the PR knot, first of all, you do an overhead knot to close the, to close whatever the wrap you did. I see you're keeping tension on the end there the whole time. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, you know, make sure this is tight. You know, just make sure you pull. Okay, you know, it's a simple overhead knot to close it. 
to close the body of the PR. You know, a simple overhead nut, you know, to close it. You know, just a very simple overhead nut to close it. You know, to close your PR's body. You know, very simple overhead. Yeah, to rotate. You no, know, very simple. You know, to you, you know, make sure it's closed tight. You know, make sure. You know, so what you do is you pull. You know, in the opposite direction. Make sure you know the knot is being closed properly for your body. You don't want to you know get untangled. You know, so make sure it's closed tight. The next step we're gonna do is a half hitch. The first section of the half hitch you will do together. Basically, half hitch onto your braid and onto your leader material. So half hitch, star from taking. This line, the leftover line we left before. So, so let's actually let's okay. tape this. Let's tape this. Okay, so this is half hitch, which is another very useful knot. Half hitch by doing up, up, going over. Uh, so above the above the leader, okay. which is the the rhythm of the the, the pattern of making half hitch is up and down, up and down. By up, you mean going over whatever the lump you have here, the braid and the floor carbon, or the leader, you know, and the pull here. This is called up. You cross over the lump up. Important, you know, make sure this gets pulled tight when you. When you finish this, gets you know, gets very tight pull, you know, because this is very important when you you know when you hooking to big fish, the stress, you know, make sure the half hitch is securely, you know, down on there. So we did one up. Right now we're gonna do one down. <clears throat> so you when down means go underneath of the braid and the mano, the leader, and then you know still down, the loop, you point taking over. And so your line basically cross under, and it goes through the loop. And the same thing, you're gonna close it and pull it tight. You know, really tight. Just make sure the half hitch don't come loose when you have a, you know, when you have stress. You know, the line is pulling the other direction. Same thing. Once we once we finish up down. So next step, the rhythm is up. So you're pulling up. And the same thing you do, and then the same thing you do a down, which you, every every pattern is up down up down, and then you do another up. And you do another down. You're taking this, goes over here, goes up, oh, goes down, goes underneath, goes underneath actually. The down section is the underneath, and they go over the loop. The up, still the same thing. We'll be going up and pull it tight, going downwards, pulling tight, going upward. On the top of whatever you have, just make sure this is correct. You know, it's one up, one down, one up and one down. So your half hitch will look, you know, in a very good, nice, smooth. Pattern. So you did it. We did it down. Right now, still goes up, and we do another down here, which comes in like this. And oops, the one down goes up like this. So right now we have a very close section. Of up and down. Make sure your half hitch is always on the one side, so you can see it's a very close section of up. You know, very smooth. They are not curved like this, and your up and down did wrong. You know, make sure it's very smooth like this. So we will keep doing. 
about no up and down make sure this is close and then another section of up and then another section of down so you always start the knot start the half hitch with up and then close the half hitch at down so we'll be up down up down up down up down you can do anywhere from three to four you know so make sure it's close your body of the PR both on the leader on the leader you know, close the body that's the body of the PR that's your up and down up and down half hitch so you know the next step what we will do is here is your actual leader <clears throat> we basically will cut this off do not cut so close to the tag end, but do not cut so long. Just enough, make sure, because we, we will use a lighter to burn the tag end. Just make sure it's enough to burn it. So, you know, leave about this much and cut it. So this is gonna come out, when we burn the tag end, it's gonna come out a nice groove to, for your extra security to burn the you know, tag end the extra group to make sure security, the half hitch, don't come loose. So how long is that tag end right now? Uh, this tag end, you know, maybe about half, half inch, less than half inch, a quarter inch. It's just extra security. If the, the half hitch is tight enough to grab the PR, the body of the PR, but this is just extra security to burn the tag end of the mono. So you will get a groove here, that group will stop all the knots in case something falling, they don't come up apart. The, net, the last stop of the PR knot will be doing, still doing half hitch, but the half hitch is going to be on the braid itself. This is just for a smooth entry when the whole knot goes through your guide, or if you are, you know, swing your jig away from the boat, it's gonna be a smooth entry to have the you know, the whole PR knot goes out, your first guide, you know, goes through your guide much smoothly and less noisily. So what we will do is we will do half hitch onto the braid itself. Forget this about this tag end, you will burn this. Do not get worried about this. So you will do up, up this main line itself like we did before, up. You know, still make sure you get a security pull, you know, strong, you know, strong tuck. Make sure the half hitch is close, and we do we did up, and then right now we're gonna do it down. And make sure just pull it tight, and you do a uh, same thing. You do up, and you do it down. You do a up, up. You know, make sure you are doing the right direction of up and down. You know, a lot of time, you know, people start doing this nuts, they get confused of the up and down and the half hitch come out, you know, being not in a smooth pattern. So always make sure one up, one down. The knot start from the up, close at the down. So this is a down. So this will be a up. And this will be the down. This will be the up. This will be the down. And we are, which is about a proper length. Right now we are in the last part of the knot, which is two more up. Make sure you pull this so the half hitch when you when your main line pull, you know they don't come up. And then we take this. We're still doing one down. I'm doing one up, and then we are doing one down. So is it roughly the same number? The half yeah, hitch? about the same number. The you know, like. 
So right now you have the line pretty much in a 99%, you know, almost down for the PR nut right now. So you have, this is almost done. We still got to do the last modification on the nut. You have your braid, you have all your half hitch you did over here in a smooth pattern, one up, one down, one up and one down. And then over here, you have the one up, one down, one up and down, the half hitch to close whatever the body of the PR nut. And we still had a reverse forward over here. So right now the last thing we need to do on this nut, this is your main line, do not cut the wrong one. You know, then you will be wasted. This is your main line. This is your whatever the tag end. This need to be burned. This is your body, and this is your head of the PR nut. Okay, so just a couple of questions. How long is this roughly, and then how long is the total half hitch, and how many half hitch knots are there? The body is about your index, right, so, it's so it's anywhere from three to five inch mm -hmm. upon angler's preference. You know. Uh, the half hitch, it's about, I would say, you know, anywhere from four to five suits of up and down, up and down. And here is the same thing, about four to five suits of up and down, up and down, uh, to close the knot. Uh, and uh, what, let's finish the knot of cutting your braid line. Same thing, leave a tag end, not too long, not too short, because you're gonna burn uh, the, the braid. So leave a, you know, a decent tag end, a decent tag end, and, you know, take your lighter. You know, when you burn this, use your left hand, use your other hand to protect whatever the main body of the nut, you do not want to burn that direction. Uh, so, you know, pretty much your finger protects it. So, you know, take a nut, hold the breath, and just burn it. And same thing over here. You do not want to burn the main body of the nut. So protect it with your finger and have the tag end left over between your finger and the burn, burn the tag end, make a nice round groove, you know, for extra security. So, here we go, and use your finger just to make it look round, you know, smooth entry. So here you have two tag end being burned, you know, for extra security, so the half edge don't come loose or untangle at any sort of point, but if you tie your half hitch tight enough, it shouldn't be. Uh, and uh, that's the most extreme line of joining. So let me ask you a couple questions. Um, how is this not, I mean, obviously it's a lot of effort and time to, to put into a fishing knot. How does this knot, what's the advantage of having this knot over similar types of connections? Uh, a lot of people, this is this is probably the most, you know, when you want a line that's extremely, you know, tight, join any sorts of braid, you know, from 50 pound braid to 100 pound braid. So heavy, heavy leaders. Heavy leaders, mm -hmm. you know, heavy, you know, uh, heavy braid, heavy leader, any type of leader, you know. And I guess this connection over there. This connection is probably the most streamlined connection. The breaking strength has been proven by, you know, anglers all around the world, mm -hmm. you know, for catching. So, know, and unlike other knots that... that unlike the other knots, you guides, know, go through the guide or you movement. will make any type of, you know, you know, uneven, you know, by, you know, Joint to joint, or you know, this is basically just a very streamlined connection. Your braid comes out, your main line comes out, and then you have the body of the knot, and then you have your leader material. So you tried other connections, and you yeah, and your for friends you know, for prefer. for vertical jigging, for jigging any type of jigging, 
you know, this is not especially your targeting species, you know, is are, you know, offshore fish. They are, you know, very strong fish. I will highly recommend spend the time to learn this knot. And uh, once you get the feeling, get the rhythm of how to tie it, you know, this will be the knot that you tie you once you tie it once properly, you shouldn't tie another, you know. You yeah, shouldn't need to tie trip. another time on the same trip, mm -hmm. as long as the line being tied, you know, properly. So, um, last question. Where did you learn about this knot and how to do it? Uh, when I start interested in getting into vertical jigging, you know, deep water jigging, vertical jigging, there's a lot of reference and uh, from, you know, People overseas in Japan, they probably start the knot first, and there were so many reference videos, you know, on you know on the internet. You know, everybody has its different way to finish the tag end, but I find out, you know, as long as you tie the knot properly, you know, spend the time to learn it, you know, you will. This will be benefit, you know, your knot tying, you know joint, I think it will be a perfect knot for, you know, for smooth string line, high strength breaking, you know, almost close to 100% breaking strength, this will be the knot. Okay. Thank you.